Radian Measure and Angles on Cartesian Plane. I am Anil Kumar and some of my students are having real difficulty in understanding radian measures. Now here is question number one. It's from the book Nelson, Advanced Functions. Now my idea is to teach you the concepts which will help you solve most of the questions in this chapter. The question here is, for each trigonometric ratio, use a sketch to determine in which quadrant the terminal arm of the principal angle lies, the value of the related acute angle, and the sine of the ratio. So we are asking for three things. First is the quadrant, right? So let me make the Cartesian plane here. This is, this is the Cartesian plane. Now in this Cartesian plane, we have four quadrants, right? This is quadrant one. Here we have quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. So we need to find which quadrant the terminal arm of the principal angle lies, the value of related acute angle, that means the angle with the horizontal, right? So related acute angle is with horizontal. And the sine of the ratio sine of the ratio you get with the cost rule right so let me write down the cost rule here c a s t that will give you sine of the ratio cost rule means cosine is positive in quadrant 4 all are positive in quadrant 1 sine is positive in quadrant 2 and tan is positive in quadrant 3 so let's begin with finding the quadrant in which the terminal arm of the principal angle lies. So we, the, we are talking about principal angle, let us say principal angle for us is theta and it is equal to 5 pi by 3. So in our case theta is the principal angle which is 5 pi over 3. Now how to find 5 pi by 3? 5 pi by 3 means that you divide your pi in three equal parts. What I mean is this position is 0 and this position is pi. We have to divide the top half in three equal parts. That is what I'm trying to say, right? Three equal parts like this. That means 60 each kind of. Do you see that? So that is pi by 3 right so from here to here is pi by 3 then then if you go further another pi by 3 is added so we get 2 pi by 3 then we get 3 pi by 3 so 3 pi by 3 is pi do you see that now we need 5 pi by 3 so that means we have to divide the lower half also into 3 equal parts so that is how we can go ahead right so we got 3 pi by 3, this one is 4 pi by 3, this one is 5 pi by 3, and then we have 6 pi by 3. As you can see, 6 pi by 3 is same as 2 pi. So full circle 2 pi will be divided into 6 parts. Clearly you can see that the principal angle 5 pi by 3 is like this. 1 pi by 3, 2 pi by 3, 3 pi by 3, 4 pi by 3, 5 pi by 3. So that is 5 pi by 3. So it is in quadrant 4. Correct? So we can write down here that the quadrant is quadrant 4 for the principal angle. Right? Value of the related acute angle. Now related acute angle means angle with the horizontal so this is the let's say alpha the related acute angle now alpha here is the sixth pi by three right so this one is the sixth pi by three or you can say two pi minus five pi by three so we have alpha the acute angle equals to pi by three correct last part is the sine of the ratio cos is positive here right so the sine of the ratio is 
positive right so let me write down here sine of the ratio will be will let's say cos of 5 pi by 3 is positive right so that is how we get right now if you use special angle triangles you can also find the value of this which they are not asking for but anyway let me draw one here right so that is our special triangle so I'm just adding fourth point and that is value or you say evaluate the trigonometric ratio in that case this angle is here we have 90 here we have pi by 3 this is pi by 6 the 30 60 90 right you remember that use the same so instead of 30 60 90 write down pi by 6 pi by 3 and 90 right which is pi by 2 so cos of pi by 3 is adjacent over hypotenuse so that value will be equals to positive of course and half right we are not asking for but we are just adding that value correct I hope that helps to understand this part of the question right now let's do the next part where we have cosecant 3 pi by 4 now cosecant is reciprocal of sine right so we could write this as equal to 1 over sine 3 pi by 4 anyway since they are not asking for value we will calculate the value later but let's figure out first the quadrant right now in this particular case we are interested in dividing pi into four equal parts and take the third one so this is our pi from here to here is our pi that is 0 to pi do you understand we have to divide into four equal parts starting from here always so diagonally if you divide you can divide into four equal parts one part right second part third part and the fourth part right we are interested in cosecant 3 pi by 4 this one is pi by 4 this one is 2 pi by 4 and here we have 3 pi by 4 do you get it so our primary or principal angle is 3 pi by 4 do you see this this is 3 pi by 4 so we are in quadrant so in this case we can write our quadrant is quadrant 2 right that is the quadrant 2 this is quadrant 1 this is quadrant 2 this is quadrant 3 and this is quadrant 4 so we are in quadrant 2 now let's apply let's find the related acute angle related acute angle is always the angle which the terminal arm makes with the horizontal right so the angle is this angle so this angle alpha for us is pi by 4 pi minus 3 pi by 4 see so alpha equals to pi by 4 correct and now we need to find the sine that is cast rule right so let's write C A S T now cosecant is a reciprocal of sine if sine is positive cosecant will also be positive right so we can write cosecant 3 pi by 4 will be positive correct now in addition we are also trying to find the value for finding the value we can use our special triangles correct so in this case the special triangle is for the angle the reference or the acute angle which is 45 degrees here right so we'll make 45 degrees triangle in a 45 degrees that means pi by 4 triangle all the sides are 1 1 hypotenuse is square root 2 sine is opposite over hypotenuse cosecant will be hypotenuse over opposite so it will be square root 2 over 1 so it is just square root 2 so we have just added to find the value of the trigonometric ratio also in that case the value is going to be square root 2 I hope with this you understand the basic concept whenever you are given any angle then divide the pi into equal parts for the denominator right in this case it was three equal parts here it was four equal parts right and then count each five of those parts that is right so pi by three so one 
pi is divided into 3, the other pi is divided into 3 more, so 6 in all. So 5 pi means 1 less than 6, so you are in quadrant 4. In this case, 3 pi by 4 is 1 less than 4, you are in quadrant 2. I hope that ways you can quickly find the quadrant. Apply the cast rule to find the sign. Acute angle is always positive, remember that, never write it negative, and it is the angle which the terminal arm makes with the horizontal, right? So in this case, it was pi by 4, and the previous case, it was pi by 3. I hope that helps. Thank you.